How's it going guys? Welcome back to Ted Carr from Fruit Living. Today I'm going to show you my friend's room versus my room. Myself, I'm a minimalist. My friend, not quite a minimalist yet, but maybe one day. But his room is pretty dope. I like it. And we're going to do a comparison comparing his room to my room. So I'm just going to grab the camera now and Joy V is going to give you a tour of his room. Sweet. What's up guys? I'm Joey B, one of Ted's buddies. So I guess that first thing, when you can just look at it, it looks pretty different compared to just the first glance. You know, Ted's room is very blank. My room is not. One of the big differences I think with maybe my room versus a minimalist is I have like a, a different bag for each use, whereas a minimalist, they might have one bag. So shopping bag, gym bag, tennis bag, like go to the beach bag or anything. So that's right off the bat. I have like multiple instances of the same thing because I can, because I don't, I don't subscribe to minimalism. Um, I don't think I ever will. The only time, kind of like Ted, maybe when I'm traveling, that could be it. I'll take a backpack somewhere and that's it. But um, let's take a look around my room. Something that I really like is, I like to look at different pieces of artwork that's kind of missing in Ted's room. So this is from my friend, Ashley Hamilton, really talented artist. Both of these are. I remember in the Sims video game on the computer, one of the things that you could do to boost their happiness was you buy a piece of artwork. You put it in their house, the person's happier. I know that's a video game, but it kind of translates to my life as well. I just like looking around my room and seeing like all this cool stuff. Um, that painting is just like, I don't know, it was from a paint splatter and I just like it a lot. Right up there is my vision board. I like having real pictures. I'm not on Instagram, so I don't get the inspirational things like on a phone or on a computer. I get it right here. And I have all these different books from my favorite author. This is Seth Godin. This is his little character right there. This is a Seth Godin book. Seth Godin book, Seth Godin book. That thing over there, which I'll show you in a minute, is Seth Godin. And right here, this would never work for a minimalist. This is a 17 pound book. And pretty much every day, I'll just flip through it and like, pick something to read through. And they're all really awesome, every one of these posts. This better work. It's probably the opposite of this might work. And that's the title of this book. So that's dope. This thing, I just like the colors of that. I don't really know anything about that artist. Uh, a couple more things in my room I'll just show you. This is from a magazine. This is an ad for a DVD that I did almost 11 years ago. So that's pretty cool to look at. This right here, this is my favorite painting ever. I just, man, I just love to look at this one. Like I step back, back in my room, and I'm just like, that is so dope. I just love looking at that. It's, it just makes me happy just looking at it. Um, obviously I have a bed with sheets on it. You'll see the difference in a minute with Ted's room. A uh, little salt lamp. You can notice in Hawaii, look at all this. This is just all the salt coming off because it's so humid. So that's pretty cool. You know you're in Hawaii when that happens. And this, this is dope to look at in the morning. It says, tomorrow's too late, yesterday over, and now is exactly the right moment, so start. So this is the box that that book came in. A couple other quick things. This is where I work, and I love my workstation so much. I love standing here and just boom, boom, boom. It's so awesome to be able to stand up and work. And if I ever need a break, I can pull this over and kind of lean on it. Or if I really want to break, I can sit down and work at that desk. That's kind of the quick overview of my room. Oh, shirts. I don't know what we're doing with the shirts. Oh, all my clothing. This is all my clothing here. Like shorts, shirts arranged by colors. It's pretty basic. I don't have like drawers and drawers of clothes. Uh, everything I have in my room I like and it all has a purpose. If I um, don't like to look at it, obviously it does something for me. But, oh, one thing Ted wanted me to show you is I don't erase anything. So for work, I used to film a lot of videos and I've never deleted any videos for that I filmed for anything. And so I just have hard drive after hard drive after hard drive. This is just a few of them. I have over 20. They're in a box under my bed. So I have a lot of hard drives and I have these journals. I probably have about like 60 or 70 of these books just under the bed that I fill up with stuff. So 
It's pretty cool. I love my room. It's so dope. So now we're gonna turn things around. I guess I'll grab the camera and we'll show Ted's room. All right, guys, welcome to my room. Here we go through this door. It's less of a room, more of a space. This is Joey's hallway, basically, how he leaves his room, walks right through my space. And uh, right off the bat, you'll notice no bed, just a sleeping area. And you'll notice no pillow either, no pillow. I do have a little blanket, a little uh, pullover, just for comfort's sake. It's really not even necessary here in Hawaii. Uh, it's not cold enough really to even need that thing, but it does feel nice. It feels like almost like you're cuddling with a dog. It's really nice, but um, I don't sleep with a pillow. The way I sleep is I just sleep like a baby. So I just sleep just like this. My head down like that on my right side. That's how I sleep. And uh, when I get out of bed, I'm not really even getting out of bed. I'm just already up, ready to go. Um, so that's like the main area of the room is the sleeping area. It's also where I do a lot of work. So I normally just sit cross-legged and flip my laptop open first thing in the morning after some meditation and just get right to work, just like so. So while Joey has his workstation, this is my workstation. Uh, I also like to just chill out in the lounge area. I try and keep this area a meditative and a sleeping area only. I try not to uh, bring in the work vibe in this area because when I lay my body down, I want my body to uh, be, be familiar with the fact that this means sleep, this means rest, this means rejuvenation, not work. But this area of the bed, if you can believe it or not, is where I do all the work and that area of the bed is where I do no work at all, that's just pure sleep area. So I try never, ever, ever to work in that area. But over here you'll see all my like stuff. Um, I got my gym pass right here. So right before I leave the room I just grab my gym pass, I go, if I need to grab my wallet, I grab my wallet and go. Uh, this is my coin, coin purse. Uh, here in America, uh, you've got so many coins because in, in Canada where I'm from, we have toonies and loonies. So you maybe have like five toonies and five loonies, so 10 coins tops. But here, because there's no toonies and loonies, um, and we don't have pennies either, there's just way more dimes, nickels, and pennies going around. So every time I come to America, I have so many coins, so I need a dedicated coin purse just for that. And then here's like where my passport goes and my dollar bills go, and uh, house keys if I need to. And then over here is my two pairs of jeans. I'm probably gonna minimize a bit more and cut a pair. I think I'm gonna get rid of these pair and just keep the blue jeans. Um, both of them were a gift from a friend. So um, these ones, I think if they gotta go, these ones I will definitely keep. But I'm going to Thailand soon. I don't even know if I'm gonna need jeans, but I really don't wanna sell them because they're so beautiful. I love these jeans with all my heart. Um, but I just, I tend to live in areas where I don't need jeans, but in the event that I do, like sometimes I go to the UK or Denmark for like a fruit festival, I gotta wear jeans there. So we'll check out some other stuff that I own over here. Uh, I'd say the most like dupli duplicated item I have, I try not to have any duplicates. Uh, a couple, I have some duplicates right here though. I got some batteries for my, you know, duplicates of batteries in case I run out while I'm filming. Um, so I do a lot of vlogging, obviously on YouTube, and I need some backup batteries. So I do got duplicate batteries. And I have duplicate clothing because, you know, I don't want to have to keep washing them all the time. I want to be able to at least go a few days without having to wash my clothes. So I definitely have duplicates of those. Um, shorts too, I have duplicates of my shorts, but they're a different brand. This is Nike and this is Brooks. But yeah, this is like, these are my shirts right here. And then uh, headphones. If you wrap your headphones like this, by the way, a little minimalist life hack. If you spend like 20 seconds wrapping your headphones like this, they will actually never come in a knot. And you can see, you just take them out quickly here. And uh, you can throw them in your bag, throw them in your pocket, and they're always just good to go. No knots, just bam, good to go. So that's pretty cool. iPhone right here, it's really all you need. iPhone, camera, laptop, those are my babies. Those are my babies. And then my passport, I need that as well. So basically, passport, credit card, iPhone, laptop, camera, and I'm set. The backpack is just really to hold everything. Uh, everything I own fits in the bag, fits in the backpack, um, but that's it guys. So you don't need to be super minimal like this and you don't need to have a whole bunch of little trinkets and prized possessions like Joey has either, but you can if you want. You can have those if you want and you can have nothing if you want either. Don't think that you need to hold on to all those gifts people have given you just because you know you might think, oh, I feel bad, someone gave it to me, I need to hold on to it. That's like, that's like hoarder mentality. I like Joey's mentality where he keeps it because whenever he looks at it, it makes him feel good. It reminds him of something like awesome. It reminds him, of, like keeps him inspired whenever he looks at it. Uh, so that's rad. Now Joey says he doesn't have Instagram or I'm sure he doesn't have Tumblr either. 
So he has like that vision board. I definitely am a big proponent of a vision board. I use Tumblr as my vision board. Uh, everything that I really like fantasize about is on my Tumblr. And uh, there's tons of like minimalist houses on Tumblr that I just look at every single day. So I'm always inspired to be more of a minimalist. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm not sure. This is a phase of my, in my life, perhaps. I'm 26 years old. Maybe when I'm 30 or 40, I'll want more stuff. But for now, it like suits my life so wonderfully. If it's time to pack up and go, I can throw everything in my backpack and go in just a few seconds, really. Everything I own fits in this backpack. It's amazing. It's amazing. Thanks for watching. If you want any tips and tricks on minimalism, be sure to subscribe to this channel. I'll be sure to post a whole bunch more videos relating to this topic. So peace out from Hilo, Hawaii. The 17 pounder. <laughs> All right, we're good. Oh, fuck, you try that shit. <laughs>